Okay, Matthew Rose is about to start the third season of his footballing career. Now, last season with West Ham, we won the FA Cup. We finished in fourth place. And we also broke the Premier League assist record. But this season, everything gets crazier. As we are in the Champions League, we have new transfers and also a new house. So drop a like for more of this series because Matthew Rose's third professional season might be the craziest of his career. So we just got back from the Euros. You might notice our apartment is kind of empty here. It's actually completely empty because we've used some of that weekly wage up and purchased ourselves a new house or i guess it's an apartment i guess it's a loft matthew rose is leveling up in life though so we say goodbye to this apartment we lived in for almost two years so ourselves gary and siggy all have a new home so let's go check it out so this is our new apartment building like this is one of the tallest buildings in london so let's give a little tour so this is our new front door you walk in you're greeted to a little welcome area now once again we just moved in so the place is still it's still empty we still gotta fill it up but when you walk in you got three options now to the right is a little entertainment area slash movie room like this setup is pretty nice. Now we got a little bar. Now if you go straight, you see uh, you see Siggy. He has gotten a bit bigger since you guys last saw him. But here is our new living room. I mean, this thing is beautiful. We got a nice dining table. The view is insane. And then this is our new kitchen. It's like triple the size of our last one. And it is just extremely beautiful. And now to the left, this hallway leads to the bedroom. Which master bathroom, we got a hot tub. We haven't had a hot tub since like episode two. Of course, Strower, Siggy's litter box. A futuristic looking toilet. That thing looks a little scary to be honest. And then this is our new bedroom. I mean, this thing is just massive compared to we had before we got like a walk-in closet with shelves it's beautiful all these fancy windows on them once again the view from the bedroom the views in this apartment are insane we got a little computer desk area and then past the bedroom there's a little opening and it's very unfinished but we have ourselves our own gym we got a treadmill we got some weights we got a punching bag a huge tv and oh yeah a basketball hoop as well like this apartment is just beautiful and it's such a big step up like it was expensive but we're now at the point where we can actually afford this we still got a lot of things we got to change but for now this is our new home and gary absolutely loves it and oh yeah siggy is an longer a little kitten anymore like he's actually going up a little bit like i said matthew rose has truly leveled up in life though like the nighttime view from this place is just insane now of course back to the football west ham are currently out on preseason joe's has given us a little bit of time off after the euros so we're basically skipping preseason but they're getting back soon and our first day of training is coming up real quick here and so begins our first season in the champions league okay first comment for the question of the signature goal celebration i like the knee slide yeah i think i like the knee slide i like the heart the heart celebration and also one more maybe that we might try out in this episode that is if we actually score next one will matthew rose potentially become a manager in the future now that is something that's very interesting i feel like it's still too early to be thinking about that but who knows i could see matthew rose becoming a manager at some point at least maybe but okay this is the upgrades we get from going to the euros so free kicks long passing and then a vision and like we're seriously becoming like a really good player i feel like this season we might explode even more i think to start this season the perk slot the second one i think i want to use active first touch because it increases ball control acceleration and sprint speed like hey that sounds pretty good so distance shooter and active first touch we're about to be so op this season all right here it is is the first day of training in season three now jose gathers his team around and he says last year our goal was top four we we reached that goal and he says now this season his goal for the team is to challenge for the premier league title and of course make it out of the champions League group stage which i think are healthy expectations and he also says we have a new face to welcome to the team this season because west ham have made a signing so he says everybody let's welcome alejandro garnacho that is right we have signed our good friend from season one and he is now our teammate and that's just a huge pickup for that right mid spot like like us, Hazards, Kamaka, Garnacho, this is about to be a deadly front four. And then Jose walks over to us and he tells us that Garnacho is a really good pickup. But from what he's heard, there's going to be a big name leaving the team this window. And he's only telling us because he sees us as the leader of the team despite our age. And he wants us to be ready for that to handle that. Like the rumor mill is very busy right now. Okay, we're back home in our, our own home gym. We're doing a little bit of workout, you know? You know, this season we're trying to take our physicality to a new level. So we're trying new things, different workouts. We also can't get enough for just the classic weightlifting. Like we've gotten much stronger for this season. And the fact that we can work out here with this view is pretty insane now the gym is probably one of the most unfinished parts of the apartment but for now it's perfectly fine and like the fact that we can actually shoot hoops in our apartment is pretty insane but we take a shower after that workout we're not breaking in the hot tub yet watch ourselves a little movie in our new movie room like this place is just pretty insane compared to our last apartment but first game of the season is coming up pretty quick here it's the community shield against man city which is gonna be a very big game for the first big test for this team in season three and just like that it's community shield time at wembley all right into the dressing room before the game starts jose says this game is about getting up to speed getting our sharpness up but it also can be used as a test against a very very good team and we look over to garnacho and we're like bro we haven't played together in like two years and he says that he's excited too so first time playing with the new front four of hazards kamaka rose and then garnacho now man City are a team that we have a lot of connections to of course friends of foden after the euros holland tried to recruit us to man city and then pep guardiola's brother pete is our agent so the connections are strong but first game of season three community shield is kicked off i mean it's the same team as last season plus garnacho so the chemistry should be pretty high garnacho to come 
Skamaka gets it over to Danilo into Skamaka. Are we going to run here? Skamaka didn't find us. Couldn't find us, though. We got runners here. Matthew Rose up to Skamaka. Over to Garnacho. Garnacho tries to cross it in, but it's going to be blocked. All right, so far, I like this start. Okay, that was a great turn by Rose. Actually, a great tackle by Bernardo Silva. Okay, that's a double tackle by Bernardo Silva. Bro, Man City are serious this game, boy. Making a statement. All right, Hazard, we have space here, and now we have active first touch. We're a little bit quicker. Matthew Rose, we're going to cut inside. We got a shot, maybe. We got a shot. I think we do finish up Matthew Rose. Ederson, great save, though. All right, that was not a bad attack. Okay, we just forced a steal. Now, this attack could go up. Man, should have went to us. Goes to Hazard. Okay, this is where it moves. Kamaka lays it off for Rose, but Ederson a save again. Corner sent in by Garnacho. That is going to be awkwardly cleared. Kamaka making a run. The duo of last season that scored, I don't know how many goals. Skamaka to Rose. Get it to Hazard. Oh, man. I should have got that to Hazard. That is completely our foul. That should have been a goal right there. Holland over to Foden. Trying to track back. He's going to get it to Goretzka. Shot. Stones. Good block. All right, Garnacho. The duo from season one is back. We only played like, what, a few games with him. But he plays it into Matthew Rose. Rose over to Skamaka. Better shot. And there is first goal of the season. Of course, it's got to be Skamaka, right? It's got to be. And it's also got to be a Matthew Rose assist. All right, 33rd minute, 1-0. Not a bad start to this game. Like, Jose has just transformed this West Ham side. I think Man City replaced uh, Kevin De Bruyne with Goretzka. I believe De Bruyne has gone to Juventus. As we just blocked a shot. And then Stones blocks a pass to Holland. All right, Skamaka. Making a run like he does. Is he going to reach that? He actually almost, almost gets to it. And Man City are struggling here. The champions last season looking second best against the fourth place team up to Skamaka. Skamaka was not ready for that pass at all. That's over to Matthew Rose though. Rose into Skamaka. Oh, left it for us. He should have just shot himself. Okay, we just stole that. And now we cross it over to Skamaka. Header attempt. Oh, it's 2-0. The Rose-Skamaka duo is OP. It's just so good. Two goals for Skamaka. Two assists for Matthew Rose. And this season starting the same way last season ended. Half time, we have been by far the better team here i feel like we can actually challenge for the title this year sounds crazy but we're just playing so well it's like how can we not rose over to Garnacho actually goes to uh danilo danilo skamaka we're right here Garnacho, we're right here he tries to cross it in i was not ready for that but hazard was this is three nil this team is still just playing so amazing the chemistry just everything within this team we're making a fool out of the champions right now and also Garnacho first assist for west ham now he had like no play time at united so that's probably why that he signed for west ham probably including us a little bit and i think my united are gonna regret that now i don't know who their right winger his name is Knight. I have no idea who that is. And as I say that, he was he was taken off. How funny is that? Hazard into Matthew Rose. We're going to go for a power shot. Rose shoots. Ederson, decent save. Bro, we're going to score one of these this season for sure. Like that thing, that thing has some whip to it. That is lofted in. Out to Rose. Once again, why not? Volley attempt by Rose. Oh man, that thing was, that thing had the height to it, I think. I just said, I think like four times. Ignore it. Suchek, Suchek. He just got rinsed. Still stays with it though. Now Mendy in to Rose. Over to Hazard. To Gar okay, what is happening here? That's some good movement, but not a goal ends in it. Okay, let's relax, everyone. Just take a chill. Okay, great ball. Two rows, though. Shot. Ederson is saving all of our long shots right now. Ball to Hazard. Beautifully done. Hazard over to Rose. Decent first touch to get away from the defender. And we actually drag it wide. Man, that man's a defender. I don't know who was, but he played that so well. Hey, we had no preseason. We're still looking good, though. We're looking like we didn't skip a beat at all. We don't need preseason. Okay, Holland, though. Holland chance to score, and he drags it wide. Holland, he needs preseason. Rose up to Oh, it's just, oh man, City's defense is looking, sh oh, it's looking shocking there. These are the champions playing like that. We weren't even part of that move. Our team just worked through them. Bro, Jose has this team just playing like, it's scary how good we're playing right now. And everyone's improving, like everyone's getting better individually. I feel like we're serious title challengers this season. Ball to Paquetta, back to Rose, back to Rose, in to Rose. Oh, the biggest first touch of all time. And we can't score. And then... <laughs> And then our teammate just misses an open net. Okay, maybe we do need preseason, maybe. Oh, no, Holland. They might score here. Whoa, Holland. What a horrible pass. This is the worst I think I've ever seen Man City look. Like, it's 4-0. We could probably get it 5 by the end of this game. Of course, I say that. And my teammate just plays the worst pass of the game, maybe. Holland gets it out wide to Foden. Foden is a player I'm very scared of. Holland. Okay, Kanza, what a great challenge. And that is full time. That was just a comfortable win that I did not expect. 4-0 against Man City, the champions. Now, they lost a few key players, but still. Like, we just smacked Man City. I mean, do we count this as a trophy? Like, do we count this on our trophy list? We have two currently. We have the FA Cup, the Dutch Cup. Do we count the Community Shield? I feel like it's not really a major trophy. But still gonna enjoy lifting it to start a season like a great way. Community Shield winners by a wide, wide margin right there. Like, the mood is extremely high in the dressing room after that game. And in the tunnel, we see Pep Guardiola. And he's like, why didn't my brother 
Tyler, tell me about you. And he says, if he did, I would have signed you. All right, later in the week, we're just chilling at home. Premier League opening day is tomorrow. And we're thinking about what Jose told us earlier about a player leaving. And we're like, no one's left yet. So we're kind of confused on who this could be. So we decided to give Jose a call. And we ask, is there any new news on the player you say that potentially leave? And Jose actually says, yes, there is some news. And he says things are far from being official. But a player from the starting 11 is confirmed, is in the process of negotiating a transfer with the new team. And like, we, of course, ask who this is. And he says he can't tell us just yet. But we're going to find out very soon, probably. So we sit down to have some dinner. And now we're just sitting here wondering, like, who could this player that's leaving be? Like, it feels like something big is about to happen. But we decided to take a nap because we got to be fully rested for this Premier League opening match. Okay, opening day at home against Leicester City. We get into the dressing room and everything oddly is a little bit quiet. And we sit down next to Garnacho and we say, uh, what's up? Why is everyone quiet? And he says Jose is going to come in and explain things. So Jose walks in and he says he's got some news. And as we look around, we notice someone is missing. And Jose says, you might notice we're a man light today. And then we can all pretty much guess what's happening. He tells us that Skamaka is in the process of being transferred away, being sold. And we're like, out of all players, Skamaka? And Jose says nothing is official as of now, but obviously he's not with the team. He's negotiating this new deal. And he says he knows this is a big blow to the team, but Danny Ings is going to start today at striker. And we're not just one player, we're a team. So whatever happens with Skamaka, we stay together as a group and we push on with or without him. So like Skamaka didn't even tell us anything. He didn't mention anything. He's just all of a sudden almost gone. So opening day, that is our starting 11. Pretty much full strength, just minus Skamaka up top. Like Skamaka scored like what, 39 goals last season in the Prem for us? Without him, I'm not sure we could challenge for the title, let alone get out of the group stage in the Champions League. But first game, Leicester City. Now there's a lot of distractions. We gotta try and just win this game though. Like bro, the whole team, the whole fan base of West Ham is just like shocked and devastated. We find out on game day, the opening Premier League match. Like I said though, we gotta try to ignore that and just win the game that's in front of us. Now without Skamaka, we have more even pressure on us now to score. So we gotta try and do our thing, Mendy. Cross in. We're there for that. We're not going to fight. We actually almost did. Like, no disrespect to Danny Ings. He's not Skamaka. All right, good start for Leicester. Andre Silva. Good tackle by Konza, though. All right, Rose out to Eden. Rose tries to play to Garnacho. Wasn't there for that. Okay, well, that was some uh, good pressing by Paqueta, but obviously it does not exactly work. Oh, no. Great move. Samade sh shoots, and that's going to hit the crossbar. That was such a weird shot. That threw me off. Hazard. Give it to Rose. Danny Ings, we see you. Is he going to break away? We just skipped over a tackle, by the way. Danny Ings goes for a shot, and that's over the net. That's not a bad attack, though, by Danny Ings. Hazard Ings into Rose. A little bit of dribbling. Rose. Oh, man. Lucas Paqueta was so in there. That was really good defending, though. All right, Rose over to Paqueta into Danny Ings. Paqueta, Ings, someone is going to find Rose. We're going to use our new speed boost, and then the keeper saves it, though. All right, Garnacho crossing. That is going to be a header by Denny Ings, and he almost scored that. Let's try that again. That one's going to be cleared, though. Cleared out to Matthew Rose. We're going to try to pass this, try to find a shot. Going to be Hazard. Try to shoot that, but I guess he didn't want to shoot. Lester, good attack shot. Lloris, great save. And Lloris is still like, he's now 37 years old, I think. He's still so good. Corner sent in, though. Did I just jinx it? No, I did not as of now. DD to Samade. He's going to shoot. John Stones, good block. Another shot coming in, though, and I almost just jinxed it. Right, Nacho, great ball out to us. Danny Ings, give it to Rose. We got space here. It's pretty much us versus like four. We're going to try and do a little turn, though. We're going to try a little bit of a turning, and we just got taken out. Wait, that was not a penalty? I kind of went for us there. Not even the ball. I guess it's, it was clean. Probably should have waited for our teammates. Danilo into Rose. Rose over to Denny Ings. And then Denny Ings tries to get it to us, but can't. Okay, Suchek. Great steal into Matthew Rose. Long shot and keeper is going to save it. Corner sent in. That is going to be cleared. Matthew Rose, we're shooting this first time. Shooting that first time. If we would have scored that, that would have been the greatest goal of our career, I think. Like, oh, man, we hit that so cleanly, though. All right, we're going to play that out wide to Hazard. Good ball. Oh, man, what is this move? It's a great move. Hazard's going to be saved, though. Bro, these keepers are just insane. Cross in. Again, out to Rose. You know what? Take a touch. And then we're banging this one from this far out. It's right at the keeper. How many long shots have we taken? We've had like so many opportunities too, though. That is the first half. I mean, we don't have that that threat up top in Skamaka anymore. You can see the difference. Our attack is just way less lethal. Like, come on, we gotta step up and score for our team. Like, we're pretty much the leader of the attack. So now it's just up to us. Any Ings, good ball to Rose. Just no one's really with us. Gotta cross it to Garnacho. Good cross. Well, he didn't even go for it though. All right, Rose out to I think. Yep, and an Hazard. Hazard gets back to Rose. Now back to Garnacho. Okay, what a good ball by Rose. Garnacho shoots. Bro, that was like a switch of the play back and forth. That was beautiful, actually. Another corner. Our fifth corner once again is cleared. Okay, can we get a better shot? Can we turn a little bit and get it to Garnacho? Garnacho shoots himself. This keeper is saving everything. And I don't even know who he is. All right, 60th minute game is still nil-nil. We've had a lot of shots, but like we haven't like threatened the keeper that much. Like a lot of them have been just easy saves. Oh, this is a decent looking attack, but defense midfield doing enough. It's just the attack. Mendy, Mendy, great ball to Rose. We turn, play Danny Ings, beautiful. Danny Ings, Danny Ings, we're right there. Danny, Danny, 
Cross it in. Oh, man, we were so open there for so long. Oh, how do we not get a shot there, Danny? You were so slow. Okay, let's try this again. Hazard, right back to Rose. Now, Danny, I see you. I see you. Near post cross. Danny Ings. Decent header attempt, but it's going to be saved. All right, I think Vlasic is now on for Danny Ings. So, Lucas, cross in. That's going to be cleared once again. Are we really shooting this? Let's try to get a closer shot. Do we just handball it? I think we just handballed. That is extremely unfortunate. Okay, Nacho into Silva. We're there blocking that pass. And I think because we were there that he doesn't get the easy sweat. All right, Garnacho. I see him making that run. Garnacho. A little bit of space. Not much, though. He's going to play it over. We're going to be there for the cross, maybe. Garnacho in to Rose. We're going to shoot. Somehow the keeper saves it again. This keeper, how many saves has he made? I can't believe it. Corner swung in. We're here for the mix. Corner sent in. Near post header by Rose. It's going to be saved again. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Okay. Short corner. We're going to try and dink it in. Good cross. No one gets to it, though. Suchek win that header. He's not going to win that header. Man, we are using all the stamina we got. Great ball to Garnacho. We got space. Vlasic over to Eden. Eden's going to finally score in the 84th minute. Oh, man. How hard do we have to work for just one goal in this game? We played that at Garnacho, and then Vlasic found Hazard. It was a good counterattack. A classic Jose counterattack, actually. We had to work so much harder for that goal than without Skamaka just banging in like a 25-yard screamer, though. Like, honestly, Leicester are not good. Even without Skamaka, we should still win this. It's just we see how much harder this game is been without Skamaka. Okay, they might have one more attack here. We got to be careful. Inacho cross up. Oh, man. If he was on side, that could have been tie game. I think that's going to be it. Ref decides to blow the whistle, maybe. He isn't above the whistle, so it's going to be a 1-0 win. We do win our first game. We, we definitely should have scored. We didn't play our greatest. But, oh, man, that game was so much tougher without Skamaka. If he does leave, this season is going to be so much different without him. All right, we get home after game number one. And honestly, the fact that Skamaka didn't say anything to us, didn't even tell us, we feel a little bit of anger towards him. And we're like, maybe if we call him, we can convince him to stay. Like, I wouldn't even know. I mean, might as well try and call him. Why not? And of course, he doesn't even answer the phone. So we're like, okay, he doesn't tell us. He doesn't answer his phone. Like, all this just seems like so crazy. And as we're sitting here, we get a call from Jose Mourinho. And he tells us that Skamaka's move is pretty much 99% done. They're just waiting for the final green light from him. And he says, if this goes through, then the board is going to let him sign a new striker. So he says, you work with Skamaka so well. If he does leave, do you have any suggestions for a new striker? So if we do lose Skamaka, our strike partner, who should we suggest to replace him? You guys, let me know in the comments down below but drop a like at that sub button if you enjoyed on screen is a video that youtube recommends you and as always hope you have a great day